All right, so Cloud Code, Gemini CLI, as well as Cursor. These are all great tools, but what if I told you that there is a better AI coding agent that's out there and it isn't any of them? This is where I would like to introduce Warp 2.0. And this thing dominates in every metric that matters. It's currently ranked as the number one AI terminal bench coding agent where it scores a 52 percentage in terms of its accuracy. And on the Sway Bench Verified test, it's ranked currently as the number one AI coding agent above Cloud Code and Gemini CLI with the 71 percentage resolution rate. And for those who do not know what Warp is, it's a powerful coding agent that's not just a terminal CLI tool, or definitely not something like an IDE. It's what they call an agentic development environment. And that basically means it's designed for working with multiple AI agents that can handle real dev work, not just autocomplete code. And yeah, the benchmarks I showcased are pretty impressive, but here's what truly matters more with Warp 2.0. Warp actually lets me spin up multiple agents at once, each with different tasks. I can have one hypothetically focus on fixing bugs or another writing tests or another handling git commits and pushing code. And it's all happening in parallel. I'm just guiding them. With Warp, it helps you not jump between windows or switch between a terminal and IDE. It all happens in a singular place and the experience is quite smooth. It might look like a terminal, but it doesn't actually feel like one. You've got a built-in AI code editor where you can manage tools, your agents and workflows that can interact with your system directly. You're not stuck in a sandbox. These agents can actually do stuff like spin up servers or even deploy builds. So yeah, this isn't just autocomplete. It's not just ChatGPT helping you write functions or Anthropic. This is a full on agentic development workflow, which has context awareness, multi agents and capable of shipping real production code. I still think Cloud Code is great for quick tasks and experiments, but when it comes to getting serious and moving fast across a real project, this is where I would really want to showcase Warp more because with their new Warp 2.0 release, it is something that makes it a great choice to use, especially with the benchmarks it is being backed up by. Warp combines four core capabilities. Firstly, you have the world class input editor with autocomplete and it lets you write anything in natural language to achieve your task. Secondly, you have an AI coding platform that generates code integrates with your code base and allows you to review and approve diffs before merging. Thirdly, you have a multi-agent orchestration system, so you can run multiple agents in parallel and monitor their work live in one unified dashboard. And lastly, you have a collaborative warp drive where you and your team can share prompts, reuse workflows, and collaborate on agent sessions. The result, you're able to move faster with all four of these components where you can automate complex tasks as well as running professional grade builds all in one unified development environment. And guys, the best part is there's so much more to this. There's so many other features that we're going to be exploring throughout today's video. You can easily install Warp for your operating system. Just simply click on the installer and you can install it for whatever operating system you have, whether that's Mac, Linux or Windows. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. After installing to your operating system, you're going to be then prompted to sign up or either log in with an account. So simply go ahead and create an account if you don't have one. And guys, what's awesome is that Warp has a free plan which gives you up to 150 AI requests a month. You can choose between these best models like Claude for Sonnet, as well as Gemini 2.5 Pro and even OpenAI 03. Now, there's a lot you can do with this, but say if you want to have more usability or more requests, you can upgrade to the pro plan. And just this week, you can actually try out Warp Pro for just $1 for the first month. And this way you can easily get started. So if you want, use the link in the description below and you can easily get started when you're creating an account. Oh, and there's also this new Lightspeed plan, which is their most competitive $200 plan on the market right now, where you get more usage and more features. After signing up, you're going to be then greeted with the main dashboard, a warp, and you can see the new features added to warp 2.0. You have this built in code editor directly within the ADE, 
you have a dedicated agent management UI where you can manage multiple agents in parallel. You also have reworked input and more agent context, which is stuff that I'll showcase in a bit. Now you can click try out and then this is where you have the ability to start working with the warp agent. This is the warp dashboard. To get started, you're going to be working with this panel over here, which is the chat panel where you can simply type in any sort of prompt in natural language to request anything to be built, edited, debugged, or even just simply running commands. You can choose between these different modes. You have terminal mode to run commands. You have an agent mode, which will deploy AI agents to autonomously work off of the prompt that you give it. Or you have an auto detection mode, which is a mix of these two different modes. You have a voice input where you can speak into the AI agent. You also have the ability to tag, get repositories, attach images, and use these different state-of-the-art models. Now, you can first start off by selecting the directory that you want to work in or so that you can simply go ahead and create a new one over here. This is where you're going to be able to manage all the different branches. And then this is going to be able to also showcase the token output. On the top right, you have the ability to run different sorts of agents, whether that's installing, coding, deploying, or something else. You can create a new agent and run them simultaneously. In the same manner, you have multiple tabs that you can open up where you can run commands and agents amongst these two different projects. But for example, say I want to work with the coding agent. This is where I can start up a new directory and I can say, create me an AI SaaS landing page. And I can simply go ahead and send in this natural language prompt so that the agents can then deploy on working towards accomplishing this task. After the agents have created a plan, you can then approve the plan and then you can have it work on accomplishing this task autonomously. So you can see right now, it has the ability to run terminal-based commands, and then you can also have it so that you can view the diff edits. So you can see that it has created this diff, the HTML file, and it has given me a visualization of how this file will look. Now, what you can also do is you can set this on auto-approve so you don't need to approve each sort of command that it works on. So I'm going to keep this toggled on so that it autonomously works on accomplishing all of these tasks. And just like that, it has rapidly built our AI SaaS landing page, which looks like this. This is a pretty nice looking landing page, which has animations, it has placeholders, it added the testimonial, pricing plan, as well as the bottom footer. So it did a great job in developing this quite rapidly and it did it completely for free. Now, let me show you a really helpful feature. Use the control or command P feature to simply go ahead and open up any directory that you want to work with. So in this case, I want to work with the expense tracker app and I have easily searched it up and I can now open it up. Now, what I want to do is use Warp's index code base feature. This is where you can index your entire code base so that the AI agents of Warp can easily understand the context of it and provide the targeted solutions. Now, what you can do is simply go ahead and click on index the code base, and it's going to be able to easily get an analysis of what your code base is. From here, I can simply just deploy the coding agent and I can say, could you please work on debugging any errors a part of my code base? And I can send in this prompt and it's going to be able to autonomously analyzed through my code base. And this was all thanks to Warp's agents indexing the overall large code base so that it's easier for the agents to work with based off the context that it was given. Now, say if it is working on a file like the packages, what you can do with Warp's new feature is that you have the ability to open it up directly within Warp. And this way, rather than opening it up within an editor, you have the ability to edit certain components directly within this environment, which is gonna make this whole process super easy. So this is where everything is all compiled in one singular area, which is gonna make this whole process super easy. And there we go. It looks like it has fixed a couple of different errors that it was able to find. And you have the ability to refine and review certain things by simply just clicking on apply changes or having it refine the actual prompt or error that it had detected. Now, what I also recommend that you do is head over to the settings tab and within the AI tab, you have the ability to configure a lot of things like the command deny list, 
command allow list, uh, execution, read, file, all of these different permissions could be set here as well as whatever model that you want to use. Now, what I also recommend that you do is you can power your AI agent with the MCP servers that you can easily manage over here. You can add different sorts of servers by easily configuring it within the JSON file directly within Warp. Rather than going into an editor and doing all this, you can just simply do it within the ADE itself, which is going to make this whole process super easy. Now, you may be wondering, what makes Warp so different and better than Cursor or something like Cloud Code? Well, the thing is, with most AI coding tools, either Warp an IDE like Cursor or live in a terminal like Cloud Code. But Warp introduces something new, which is this agentic development environment. So unlike Cursor, which is great for auto-completing and inline chat, but still needs manual and single agents. Whereas with Warp, it is something that is prompt first and built for multi-agent parallel workflows. One agent can be debugging, the other one could be deploying, and another one could be writing tests all in the same interface. And unlike Cloud Code, which excels at short tasks but lacks depth or state, Warp offers a full native app with an inline code editor, agent management UI, and a system level integration. It's not just smart assistance, it's context awareness, production ready automation is what actually makes it better than the other two. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video on Warp 2.0. This is an impressive agentic development environment which is a first of its kind and it's something that has everything built within one singular platform. I highly recommend that you take a look at this with the link in the description below. Make sure you get access to the promo which is available this week where if you are to pay $1 you are going to be able to access the pro plan for just a single dollar. So I highly recommend that you make the most out of that. But with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe to the second channel if you haven't already. Join the newsletter. Join our private Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.